Get ready for station closures along the yellow and blue lines all summer long. They kick off on Saturday. Here's Marcella Robertson. Well, this shutdown is going to have a significant impact on a lot of riders. Metro employees have been here for the last couple of weeks handing out pamphlets, making sure everyone is aware of this shutdown. You can see here the fences are up. The supplies are ready for the construction crews as they are going to work on these repairs, these platform repairs. A lot of people I spoke with say they have a plan B. Others are still trying to figure that out. Every single day. I ride the Metro every single day and I come to the stop every single day for work. Come Monday, Taylor Reed and Matthew Cripp are just two of 17,000 Metro riders that will have to find another way to get to work. It is going to throw a wrench in, you know, my everyday routine. They use the Eisenhower Metro stop, one that's seen a big increase in ridership over the years. As apartment buildings continue to pop up, many of those people rely solely on Metro to get around. From Memorial Day to September 8th, there will be no rail access on the blue and yellow lines south of the airport. That's Braddock Road, King Street, Eisenhower Ave, Huntington, Van Dorn, and Franconia Springfield. Crews will be fixing crumbling platforms at those stations. First of all, I was like, probably it's probably a good thing because these are starting to kind of crumble down a little bit, but there needs to be some modernization, some upkeep, and the way that has to do that, people, is, it's going to take time. It's going to be challenges. Metro does have some alternatives like providing free shuttle buses, but it is warning that it could add some time to your commute. We'll have to see. Um, I'm not sure. I guess the plan, the first plan is the shuttle. If that puts me too behind schedule, I'll have to find other accommodations. Just a few days out from this summer shutdown, some still don't know what their backup plan looks like. My goal this morning was to look at the pamphlet that they gave us, kind of figure out where I'm going to go, where I'm going to get on, and how long the shuttle's going to take. 